みなさんこんにちはお元気ですか元気です。Hey, さん、right. 元気。よかったですね。Hey, so I have a question for everybody here. That is, do you have young, younger siblings? Yes, I do. Okay, so we see a couple of people that have younger siblings here. The reason I ask is because I've been asking some of my、uh, students this question. So, how have you been spending the past week? And a lot of it is, well, babysitting my younger siblings. And it sounds like they need a little bit of help. So,、uh, what kind of advice do you have? How did you take care of your younger siblings when you're younger? Yes,、uh, we played a lot of board games when I was younger. Oh, okay, so board games. That's wonderful. Okay, thank you very much, Frederick Sensei. Play outside, go play tag, run around. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Can they do that now? I don't know. When people six feet walk- air tag? Yeah, yeah, tag from six feet away. <laughs> okay. And Lupi San Sensei. I'll cook something together. Oh, that's a good one. How about a, a 1,000 piece puzzle? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Puzzles. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> that's great, Hashima. <laughs> some、Thank、of、you. us are parents, right? Some of us have kids, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't know why, but you have kids. <laughs> so,、uh, do you have any recommendations? Well, I think Kamimura s e n s e i They love、um, me reading stories out loud to them. Oh, nice. Storytelling. That sounds like a pretty good one. And、um, come to think of it, in Japanese culture, we tell a lot of stories to younger kids.、Uh, I remember when I taught in Japan to、uh, elementary school and also preschool students, we tell them a lot of stories to teach them morals, you know, what is right and what is incorrect. And come to think of it, we kind of do that here in the States as well, too, right? What are some stories, that,、uh, folk tales that we, we tell our kids here in Salinas? Hmm. Aesop's Fables. Ah, Aesop's Fables, yeah. Yeah. Maybe、uh, Jack and a Beanstalk. Okay.、Mm-hmm. So, how about, how about, how about, how about we tell a story to our audience?、Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's、yeah. do that. That's great. Okay. So,、um, do we all know Kasajiso?、Mm-hmm. Is that a story? Okay. 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 Sounds great. So, let, no spoilers. No spoilers.、Um, let's come up with some rules first. First, we're going to need every Every story needs a narrator. Who can be our narrator? Hi. Hachiba、ah, Sensei. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, as we know in Japanese stories, we always need an old man in our stories. <laughs> who, who can be an old man? Wait a minute. Why are you looking at me? Well, you are all looking at me right now. <laughs> We're going with、Fine. the youngest. I don't know if I do、here. a good job, but、um, I'll do my best to、um, sound like an old man. <laughs> Please try your hardest. Thank you so much. And, you know, Old man, we also need a partner for the old man in our old in the stories, which was always an old lady. Who can be our、Don't、old lady? Can you hear me? Can you hear us, Mio?、Okay. Uh, I got it. I got it. Did you go to the bathroom? I did it today. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so come to think of it though, okay, so we have our, we have our main characters, but if it's in Japanese, Our audience may not understand it.、Um, hmm, maybe you can do Spanish. Ah, some of our senses know Spanish. Ikeda sensei. Frederick sensei. Know some Spanish? We can do that. Hi, ja, watashi a r i m a s Okay, so we have our old man and old、uh, lady in Spanish. Sounds good. And of course, we saw some other roles. Um, um, maybe we can have some sound effects, we can have some songs in there. Can the rest of us take that? I can do sound effects. <laughs> All, right. Can I? All right. Ro Sensei, Luke San Sensei, sound effects here. And Kamimura Sensei?、Um, I'll help with the music. Ongaku. That's, that's lovely. All right. So exciting. Shall we, shall we begin? Hi. <clears throat> All right. All right then. Hi. 日本昔話、カサジゾウ。コントスパラニニオスデハポン、カサジゾウ。ムカムカシアルトコロニー。エラセウナウエス、エナルウンルガー。アハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
vivían un abuelo y una abuela muy pobres, pero muy amables. Ojiisan to obaasan wa futari de kasa o tsukurimashita. El abuelo y la abuela hacían sombreros en la casa. Sore o machi e motte itte uri, o shogatsu no omochi o kau tsumori desu. Los llevarían a la ciudad, los vendrían y comprarían unos mochis o pasteles de arroz para el año nuevo. Mochi! Tengo cinco sombreros. Cierto que al menos podré comprar unos mochis. Por favor, ten cuidado. ¿Por qué neverá esta noche? Hay, hay. Ojiisan wa itsutsu no kasa o motte dekakemashita. El abuelo salió cargando los cinco sombreros. Ie o dete mamonaku yuki ga futte kimashita. Poco después de salir de la casa, empezó a nevar. Yuki wa dandan hageshiku natta no de ojiisan wa sesse to michi o isogimashita. Con la nieve cada vez más intensa, el abuelo caminaba por el camino a toda prisa. Nura hazure ma de kuru to ojizou sa mutsu narande tatte imasu. Al llegar a las afueras del pueblo, el abuelo vio seis estatuas de Jizo alineadas. ¿Ore? Ojizo-sama no atama ni mo kata ni mo yuki ga tsumotte imasu. La nieve se iba acumulando en las cabezas y en los hombros de las estatuas de Jizo. Kore o mita ojizo-san wa Sono mama tori sugiru koto ga dekimasen deshita. Viendo esto, el abuelo no podía pasar. Ojizo-sama, yuki ga futte samu karo na. Semete kono kasa o kabutte kudasare. Ojizo-san wa... Ojizo-sama, está nevando y ustedes tendrán mucho frío. Por favor, al menos usen estos sombreros. Hai. El abuelo sacó los sombreros que iba a vender y se los puso a las estatuas de Jizo. Pero el abuelo era una de las tres, y no había seis. Pero había seis estatuas y el abuelo solo tenía cinco sombreros. ¡Oh! そこでおじいさんは自分の傘を脱いで最後のお地蔵様にかぶせてやりました。Entonces se quitó su propio sombrero y se le puso al último 地蔵。Uso. はい。家へ帰るとおばあさんがびっくりして言いました。Cuando llegó a la casa, la abuela muy sorprendida dijo: <笑>えー。Mamá, ¡zui bun haya katta desu ni! ¿Sore ni ojii-san no kasa wa dou shimashita? Dios mío, qué rápido has muerto. ¿Y qué pasó a tu sombrero? ¿Sore wa? Ojii-san wa ojizou-sama no koto hanashite yarimashita. El abuelo le contó que había pasado con las estatuas de Jizo. Mamá, sobre va yo y coto o shimashita ni. Omochi nante nakte mo ii desu yo. 
Vaya, hiciste buena cosa. No me importa si no tenemos mochi. Obasan wa niko niko shite imashita. La abuela le dijo sonriendo. Sono yoru, yonaka da to yu no ni, fushigi na uta ga kikoete kimashita. Esa noche, de repente se escuchó una canción curiosa, aunque era medianoche. おじいさんの家はどこだ母さんのお礼をとどけに来たぞおじいさんの家はどこだ母さんのお礼をとどけに来たぞ歌声はどんどん近づいてとうとうおじいさんの家の前まで来るとlas voces venían acercando y al llegar al frente de la casa de los abuelos. Se escuchó el sonido de alguien dejar algo en el suelo y marcharse. Cuando el abuelo abrió suavemente la puerta, vio a las espaldas de las estatuas de Jizo que se ponían los sombreros que él les dio. Soste, yeno mainiwa, o shogat yono, o mochia, gotsoga, yamano yoni oite arimashita. Enfrente de la casa había un montón de mochis y otras comidas ricas para el año nuevo. Did everybody enjoy that story? Yeah. Yes. That's a, that's a classic, right? One of the classic Japanese folk tales. Um, what would you all say is, is the moral of this story? There's, there's not any one right answer, of course, but um, is there anything in particular that stands out for you from this story? Hi, uh, Ro Sensei. Um, I think that kindness goes a long way. So if you give someone kindness, it'll be repaid back to you um, in some way or form. Hi, come here, what say? And um, kind of sacrificing um, from the little that you have can go um, can really be beneficial and meaningful. Mm -hmm. Hi, Frederick Sensei. I've heard that in some versions of this story, the Jizo Sama don't bring any food at all. It's that the uh, the gods from heaven come down and take away uh, the Ojisan, Obasan to the pure land of, the, of Buddhism. So it's really not about expecting any reward at all. It's just doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Mm, that's interesting. I agree that intention is a huge element here, right? That when the Ojisan came across the, the bear, Ojizo sama and and you know they're not even really uh, they're stone statues right Ojizo sama um and so you know they're not animals they're not other people but the fact that he decided to offer his own sombrero his casa right to a stone statue so that they're not cold um he's not doing it for anything in return but that's that's what what came with well, that was a result that he didn't expect but was given yeah, I think that's that's a big element. Yeah. Well, that's deep, huh? <laughs> I didn't realize that part. <laughs> Your story can be very you know, good for the adults too. <laughs> right? I mean, then I thought about would I give up my sombrero? You know. Um, I, don't I think know. a lot of yeah. I think a lot of stories might you know um, you know anywhere in the world might. Uh, have the, the universal message of kindness, but it's often to to an, another being, you know, and at, at least alive. <laughs> so, 
But I think it's pretty cool that, you know, this old Jisan decided to give his hat up for, for a stone statue and I think that's um, really telling of his character. Mm-hmm. He's very pure of heart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are the stone statues anyway? The Jizu song. Why are they, why? I wonder why they're so important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think? Personally, I don't see many ojizos on the streets in Japan. I mean, uh, when I go to maybe um, like, a, you know, a shrine or, you know, um, those places I see jizo-san, but do you guys see jizo-san on the streets of Japan? Or? Not really, huh? The countryside. The countryside. Well, countryside. countryside. Yeah. Yeah. What are they? Are they like, uh, um, religious figure i mean it's kind of like a buddhism uh but bodhisattvas um um my understanding of bodhisattva is like a, there's a buddha and the bodhisattvas bodhisattvas ones that they, they can enlighten they can move on to next level um and like being but i think they bodhisattvas are the ones that this they made a decision to come back to this earth to serve uh, other people um that's why I, Rats from somewhere, and uh, mm-hmm. Jizo is the manifest manifestation of uh, bodhisattvas. Uh, I could be wrong, but that's something that um, that I read. But they're all bald heads, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> has all those, uh, red um, bib. Oh, yeah, yeah, bib. <laughs> yeah, red bib. Yeah. Does anyone know more about Jizo san? I think that that'll be a great thing for students to continue looking into. It. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. know what Jizo is, but we'll let you find out more about Jizo and report back to us. <laughs> so, the the uh, more of the story, I think we can all agree is kindness. I mean, connecting to today, you know, and what's happening now, right? We can, we can't we shouldn't be greedy. We should be kind to each other and. Uh, move forward every day with that in mind, I think. Yeah. Thank you for for the nice discussion. And yeah, so we have an exciting um, next uh, corner, kanji corner coming up next with Frederick Sensei. Frederick Sensei, are are you ready for our kanji corner? Yes. Are we ready for the kanji corner, I guess? Oh my. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. Or don't <laughs> Transformation scene here. He doesn't mess around. He's serious. Okay. Uh, welcome everybody to, to the Kanji Corner. And uh, I'm, I'm proud to host our first uh, Kanji Corner. Uh, this Kanji or something that uh, we all have a, a mixed relationship with. Some people love them. Some people find them very difficult. But uh, yes, this, we, we all know that this is a writing system that Japanese uses and we have to learn them. We have to study them and, because they're very important to the language. And as you may know, that this is a writing system that originates in China and is brought to Japan and other parts of East Asia as well. So their kanji are, are widely used and, and extremely important. Um, and of course, they're in Japan as well. You see them in Japanese books and restaurants and manga. And uh, for me, uh, I have always liked kanji. I think they look really cool. But the moment when I realized I don't just like kanji, I really love these characters, is when I was studying abroad in Japan at uh, Obirin University as a college student. And then one of my teachers who was teaching us about comparative linguistics uh, spoke Mandarin, Chinese. And he was saying, if you think that kanji are difficult, Japanese kanji are difficult. Wait till you start studying some of the traditional Chinese (laughs) kanji. There's many, many more thousands of characters that Chinese people have to learn. So I thought, wow, there is really a lot behind these kanji characters. And I just, ever since then, I have found them so fascinating and really worth studying. It's a lot of effort, but I think it's worth it. So uh, I know that our students learn learn kanji. We, uh, we, you, you, we, we know how, have to know how to read them. And we also have to know how to pick them out of the uh, input method when we're typing into a computer. But our, our kanji corner today, we're going to have a little game where you're Jap- we're gonna see how much your Japanese teachers can write the kanji from memory. 
this is something that's actually very difficult. It, these days, in, even in Japan, you don't often have to write by hand kanji characters because you can use your, your phone to write them or the computer. So this is actually something that we, even us senseis, may be a little rusty on. <laughs> so we're going to see uh, what are your kan teachers' kanji levels today. Now, all of the kanji today are going to be from the Japanese AP exam kanji list. So these are kanji that we all should know, and some of you uh, students may know some of these. So if you want to play along, what you need is an erasable uh, pad to write on and, an, and a uh, dry erase marker. Is, there, is everyone ready to play? Do you have your materials? No, I'm, I'm, I'm never ready to play. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, so here are the rules. The, the, you will get points for accuracy and for speed. So the first sensei to correctly write the kanji will get two points, and then second place will get one point. But if you are inaccurate, no points. Okay. Okay, are All you ready? Right. Okay can, can, okay, can we start with the easy ones? Oh, sure. Yeah, let's go. Good idea. Let's start with an okay. Ichinense, the first year. Okay. Our students are watching us. We don't want to do that. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's start with a character that even our Ichinense, our first year students may know. Okay? okay? Are we ready? Yes. Okay, the first character is. Haha! Okasan! Which means mother. Mother. <laughs> Okay, so first place, I believe, is Ikeda Sensei is first. And second place is Azama Sensei. Seriously? I don't, I don't, is it supposed to look like this? Uh, well, I actually heard, I don't know if it's true or not, because, you know, I, I do come from a Chinese background. I heard that Chinese version is 1010, but then Japanese version is a line. See, who's the real Japanese here? <laughs> Outnumbered, more people wrote this. Fine. <laughs> maybe it has a little old, maybe old way of writing. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, anyway, I learned something. Thank you. Okay, so the, our scores are as follows. I think Ikeda Sensei is yeah. first with two points, and then Kamimura Sensei is second with the accuracy. Frederick Sensei no Hatsu, ha ha! Spanish accent. Like, should be maybe I am too much in the Spanish from our storytelling earlier. That threw me off. That threw me off a little bit. Tranquilo, Frederick says. Okay, okay. Let's let's have a second round then. Okay. Uh, we're going to level up for the second round. All right, everyone. This this uh, word will be from Ninense. Our second year students should know this word. I don't know if they know how to write it in kanji, but let's see if our, our senses know. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, the word is tomodachi, friend. Ah! <laughs> okay, I, I think <laughs> I think first place goes to Rupi San Sensei, <laughs> and second place goes to Chien Sensei. It's a little bit sloppy, but accurate. accurate. <laughs> Understandable. This is we're playing for speed, so well done to Rupi San Sensei. And okay, so here here are our standings going into. Or at the end of the second round. All right, so now we're going to, you guys see the pattern? We're going to have a third round with level three kanji. <laughs> These are characters, our third year students. Are you ready? Okay, the, the kanji for round three is Ryori, cooking. Ryori. Oui. 
Hashiba Sensei oh, is first yeah. and uh, Ikeda Sensei is second. Uh, and you are, that's correct, Ryori, cooking. You, yeah. you both wrote it correctly. So, uh, Hashiba Sensei, niten, and Ikeda Sensei, iten. Okay, well done, everyone. Here are our standings. Ikeda Sensei is in the lead. Yay. Okay. Yeah. So now it's time to move on to the fourth round. These are AP level kanji. Oh, no. okay. Can I remove myself from the game at this point? <laughs> no, you can't. Right. Oh, you did. Good luck, everyone. So the, the kanji from AP, these could appear on the AP test. So are you ready? Kanji are keiken, experience. <laughs> Keiken experience. Oh, uh, Ushima sensei, Ikeda sensei. <laughs> Seikai desu. Okay, so for, uh, first place is Nishimura sensei. And second place is Ikeda sensei. Did you get the yes. one, right? What are the, what are the right uh, radicals? Okay, so Nishimura sensei, Niten. And Ikeda sensei. So here's here's our final standings. Ikeda sensei is in the lead, but Azama Nani Monai Jana. Okay, so here we we're going to have a one last round. This is our Shakai Jinhe. What do you think? Are you are we ready? All right, go for it. Okay. Th these are kanji that uh, <laughs> students may not necessarily learn, and maybe even adults might not know. But let's try. Are we ready? Okay. So the kanji for the shakai jinhen, the the adults round is nikan. Nikan. <laughs> nikan. <laughs> みかん。ずるい。ずるい。あ、で、感じあったよ。あったっけ。あ、あ、マジで。あ、あ、マジで。あ、あ、マジで。あ、あ、マジで。あ、あ、マジで。あ、あ、マジで。あ、あ、マジ
without fail, and then Mushi, um, insect. And then in the other character, the Kan, there is Amai on the mm. left hand side, and Ki tree. So a sweet tree that you always see bugs uh, landing on. But you know, I've never seen that kanji. <laughs> <laughs> I always, Mikan was always in katakana, don't you think? Hiragana. Mm. <laughs> Hiragana. <laughs> Katakana, katakana. Katakana, katakana. Oh. Thank you. Well, thank you. Okay, that that was a little bit difficult, but uh, let's let, we're going to give Ro Sensei two points for that one. Okay, That's, so our final standings are three points. Points. yeah, that should be a bonus, like five points. <laughs> <laughs> I think she just wins. She wins the whole thing. <laughs> right. Okay, we'll give more points to Ro Sensei because that was really difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yay. Okay, our, our winner, our, our first kanji corner champion is okay. Ro Sensei. Omedetou gozaimasu. Oh. Okay. So uh, thank you all for playing. And uh, thank you. We will, we will uh, ho try to host this again. Yes. Ooh. All right. So next, we'd like to hear from. Uh, Jian Sensei, who is going to tell us about uh, a fun new game that he has for us. Yeah, I'm glad you're talking about games. That kanji game was too hard for me, quite honestly, but um, I guess I need to study a little bit more. Um, so here's a game that I think that all of us uh, students can also enjoy as well. And this game is called Goose Chase, okay? So um, why are we doing this, right? Um, we miss school, we miss Japanese class, we're not in the classroom anymore, but, but this is an opportunity to connect what we have at home to Japan. And we wanna be able to share this with everybody. So um, today we're gonna to be doing an app called Goose Chase. So um, more details are gonna be uh, through Google Classroom, but let's go over the real basics here. So Goose Chase, you're gonna need that on a device, such as on a phone or on a tablet, okay? so. When to enter in, I'm gonna be playing as a, I can play as a guest or I can create an account. I'm gonna be joining a, a code, okay? And we're not gonna show it here on YouTube. It's gonna be on our Google Classroom, so please be sure to check there. I'm gonna be typing the secret code right now. Let's see, the secret code is JWR, whoops, I shouldn't be saying it, it's secrets. Okay, so I just joined it. I just joined the game. Nihongo challenge. All right, let's, let's go inside. And ah, we're going to be doing this in challenges of teams by schools. So I'm from North High. I'm a Viking. So I'm going to click North High. And there's a password here too. Um, the password is going to be posted on our individual Google Classroom. I'm going to be typing that right now. Hit OK. And here we go. We're right here. here. As you can see, there's a bunch of missions here that we're gonna be accomplishing. So some of these missions may include you taking a picture and sharing it with everybody, taking a video and sharing with everybody, or maybe typing an answer. So for example, let's look at our first one. Ah, find Japan in your home. And it says here that we need to take a picture of something that's Japan related and take a picture of it. Ah, okay, mm, what do I have in? Uh, okay, flute, no, it's not Japanese. Uh, oh, oh, whew. Goku, <laughs> yes, he's very much Japanese. I can take a picture of that. Let's, let's take a snap evidence of that. Ready, whoops, snap evidence. And boom, okay. I took a picture of Goku here and I can just submit the evidence. And there you go. I helped my team complete the first mission. Awesome. There's some other missions here, such, such as, uh, um, let's see, teach your family, hiragana. Ooh, that might be a good review for you. Show, uh, take a video of you showing them how to write hiragana, okay? So we're gonna be starting this game um, uh, on Monday, right? Which is today. Uh, so please be sure to check on Google Classroom, get started on it. <clears throat> we're gonna end the game um, within a week, okay? Whichever school that can complete it the fastest, and also the most creative ones will win. Okay, so we look forward to your entries. All right, awesome, thank you very much. All right, so if you have any questions, ask your senseis on Google Classroom.
So we've reached the end of our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I know, sad to go. Lupisan Sensei, what kind of uh, reminders do you have for all of us? Okay, um, as Chen Sensei mentioned, remember to check Google Classroom for any updates, important messages, and for learning resources. We'll also be um, including links for the resources we used here in the video description below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Okay, Toroku kudasai. And um, also, we would like to hear from you. So, what questions do you have for us? Um, do you have any requests for videos you would like to see from us um, that you would like to see in our series? Let us know through um, comments below. Arigato gozaimasu. ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。ありがと